Uh, you know, John, we're still awaiting official Chinese reaction to the State of the Union, but it's interesting. CNN learned that China was mentioned in the original text of the State of the Union address well before the Chinese balloon slipped into American airspace last week, which, of course, caused that major political uproar and prompted the U.S. Secretary of State to cancel that planned visit to Beijing. And on top of that, it also added this new sense of urgency to the U.S. president's messaging about competition with China. Let's take a listen. I'm committed to work with China where we can advance American interests and benefit the world. But make no mistake about it, as we made clear last week, if China threatens our sovereignty, we will act to protect our country, and we did. Now, since the U.S. military shot down the Chinese balloon, China has been hardening its rhetoric significantly. In fact, we've learned that the charged affair of China, its top official in Washington, D.C., has overnight lodged representations, stern representations against officials at the U.S. State Department, also at the White House National Security Council. We also learned that the Pentagon is saying that when it made a request after it shot down the Chinese balloon, it made a request for its U.S. Secretary of Defense to speak to his Chinese counterpart immediately after a U.S. fighter jet shot down the, the balloon, that offer was declined by the Chinese. And then there's also this, what we heard from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on Tuesday, a spokeswoman saying, look, the United States right now in the process of recovering the remnants, the debris of the balloon, analyzing it, but even the debris belongs to China. Let's bring up the statement. This, according to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokeswoman Mao Ning, who said the airship is China's, it's not the U.S.'s. The United States should have handled it properly in a calm, professional, non-forceful manner, but its insistence on using force is a clear overreaction. Again, that use of overreaction from Beijing in regards to the U.S. shooting down the Chinese balloon. Again, China insists that the balloon was a civilian vessel that somehow blew off course. Um, but the United States maintains that it was used for spycraft. In fact, U.S. intelligence officials have told CNN that it was part of a broader military surveillance operation. Back to you, John. Lots of balloons. Uh, Chrissy Lee's out there, life is in Hong Kong. Let's go to 